everyone. In this video I will try to explain usage of KEDA. It's actually official page and support a scaler from KEDA. I want to try to explain for what we will use this. It gives us possibility to scale our pods of Kubernetes deployment by custom metrics. Uh, from my point of view they have wonderful documentation really. In my case, Keta will increase count of pods if AVS SQS queue will be more than 5. What does it mean actually? I will explain in manifest files. We will see this. I have used AVS access and secret key from my local on-premise cluster. Actually, in my local envir environment inside of this laptop, I have deployed 3 master and 3 worker Kubernetes cluster. From there, I will use it, not from inside of AVS SQS to spend money, but of course, we can use inside of AVS's, uh, AVS AKS. And we can use, of course, EAM role inside of AVS access clusters. But in my case, I have used AVS access and secret key. By default, KEDA grating horizontal pod scaling object after creating of trigger and scaled objects, which I will show them right now. Uh, let me open the max session. Actually, I have created four max sessions in my case, let me show them. And I will open YAML files. As we see, YAML file uh, in KEDA have scale object, which after deployment of KEDA applications will bring us custom resource definitions. One of them, of course, they have a lot of, but I have used scaled object and triggers. In my case, as we see, it's triggers object. Uh, actually, in my Medium article, we will see how we can achieve all of these steps. And do that, I wrote script, which we can use automatically from there to prepare all these template files. I've used this script too. That's why at the end of the YAML files, we can see render it, uh, render it name, like as rendered from out of the manifest templates. And first, I'm trying to explain scaled object as we see the kind scaled object, it, which will use Q, AVS SQS Q. I will not say anything about AVS SQS Q. It's like as Amazon Kafka, RabbitMQ, or anything else which we can use like as Q. And it's in region uh, US East 1, which I've created with the name KEDA test. And to authenticate to read from SQS, it will use trigger out credentials object which is trigger itself here inside of scale by AVS case namespace it's going to read access key ID parameter and access secret secret access key parameter from secret by the name scale by AVS SKS secrets which I have created you can find it inside of article uh, from medium of course too and here it's just simple deployment uh, which will go to read SQS Q one by one, I mean pod inside of deployment will go this image will go to read SQS Q one by one from AVS SQS by the AVS access key and then secret key which is going to read from secret uh, which I showed before and said about the article and we can find its output of the secret I will not show inside of access sec and secret key by the security issue of course at the end, the end of the video I will delete it but in any case and all these objects right now is deployed and I just wanted to show them to you if I will show to max ls I will explain one by one for each of them and after applying all these objects it's created KEDA itself objects, I want to show them to you. As we see here, triggers, which use secret with this name, which I said before. At the same time, scaled object, it's 3D. And we can see KEDA automatically created horizontal pods out of scaling object with min pods 0 and max pods 100. Of course, we can edit this and change by our needs, but by, by default, it's like as this. And I wanted to show them to you. And in the TMAX session, another TMAX session, I am checking real count of pods my deployment and looking at operator logs in the real time. 
uh, let me show them right now too and as we see I'm going to get count of ports inside of namespace scale by AVS scales and at the same time I'm looking at ports itself and looking in the downside I'm looking logs of the dead operator what's happening in the real time if I will go out from here and try right now I've scaled down my deployment port count to zero why because really when I will try to explain try to create a lot of SQSQs inside of AVS application is working very quickly and I cannot achieve uh, achieve to the case when count of the queue will be more than five because in my configuration of the manifest files which we, we saw before it's going to create another new scale up new pod uh, when SQS queue size will be more than five and to achieve this I did scale down to zero and right now I will try to create a lot of SQS queues and see what's happening in the log of the CAD operator and count of the pods in the real time uh, just I'm going to, to max session right now to execute this iteration it's actually going to create SQS queues we will see out like as this right now because it's going to connect with the AVS API yeah we don't need this right now and in the real time we will see logs of the KEDA from Tumac session what will be happening so we must see real trigger from out of log KEDA operator we must see count of the ports will be more than zero and at the same time we must see port here which will be created. It will be up in nearly 30 seconds if I'm not wrong. Yes, triggers came, one of them is created, trying to create right now. Count is one. Yes, one is created. I will do pause and return back after some time. Yes, it's created another one. As we see, second container is created right now. And uh, right now I will go to break my script uh, creation of the SQS queue because we don't need any more right now. Even I think it will create another one too because the count is more than five, even maybe more than ten in queue waiting. So I will connect here, break the session connect back to logs so to delete new containers will be happen nearly after four minutes do not spend time this inside of this video I will do pause and return back when the state of the containers uh, will be in terminating we will see this so I did return back the video and as we see terminate, terminating is starting and KDA logs informed us it's going to delete pods from original replica count 2 to new replica count 0 because actually inside of AVS AQS not existing queues and that's why we don't need any more of these pods we can delete it and that's why it's going to delete and actually that's it I hope it will be useful for all of us thank you for watching